Welcome to the Mega 613 Watch Service Part 1 of 3. Today we're going to be looking at stripping the whole watch, having a look at the condition, cleaning the components, and then reassembling with some oiling. At the end of this, what we will do is we'll be timing the watch. Um, first of all, make sure that all your tools are intermagnetic, because if you magnetize a watch, a mechanical watch, you have severe issues. So let's get cracking. So one thing I always like to do is have a look inside if anyone's done any markings, any lost services. But as you can see in this watch, there's quite a lot of dirt. You can see there's some clips missing to secure the watch down. And you can see it's an old vintage 613. Over here, we can see that the um, rubber band, well, the gasket is extremely old. And as you can see, I'm battling to take it off. And just try and there we go and as you can see this is quite bad that is a very important part to replace on every single watch service as you can see a lot of dirt has gotten in there over the over time As you can see here there's a lot of dirt in this movement now what we're going to do is we're going to fix all of that so first things first we need to secure the watch down and then we need to make sure we have our anti-magnetic tools i prefer to use titanium tweezers because if you use stainless steel anti-magnetic they do have a tendency to get magnetic at some point these vintage Amigas is just a little push button there, as you can see, which I just did. That releases the stem. Now it's important to have a look at the stem, and you can see on this one, it's a little bit of rust, but that's okay. We'll clean that off. Now we take the outer bezel, uh, bezel, the outer um, movement holder ring. Take that out and have a look, and you can see there's a lot of moisture that's been built up which then has caused a bit of corrosion and a bit of discoloring now what we need to do is we need to have a look pull it out you can see this it's an original glass as it has the omega label on the inside but you can see that there's a lot of something really went bad here now my suspicion is one of the gear trains just got loose out of place um, causing the whole system, the mechanism to wind up quite fast. The other option is that the clip spring that holds the, let's say tension in, this, in the barrel spring, somehow released, causing the whole watch to unwind at an extremely rapid pace. So now what we're doing is we're gonna take off the, the hands, and as you can see, I use a little tool be very careful, it's super important to wear your, to put a plastic, piece of plastic over the dial as not to damage the dial. If you don't do that, you will damage the dial. Even though that this dial isn't damaged enough, it's important that you put that over. You see, it's quite easy to take off. Now with these old vintage Amigas, there's usually a screw, two screws holding it, sometimes there's three, so we just need to find them. And as you can see, are over here.
So now that we've got the dialogue, we can have a look at both sides. We can start inspecting. I know a lot of people will say, oh, why aren't you using hand protection? You could get moisture on the movement. Why aren't you using the right equipment in terms of holding these vintage, vintage Amiga movements? I work the way I've worked for the last 20 years and I'm not going to change. I prefer, I prefer using the tools that I've always used and that's how it is. Now we're going to have a look at getting this movement starting just to understand if there was a bit of issues with the spring. So we'll turn that a little bit, give it some pressure just to see. Yeah, wind that up, touch on the balance just to see. And then it should kick start it. Yeah, there we go. So now she's working. So obviously there's a full service on this because we don't know exactly where the issue is. So we'll definitely be replacing the mainspring and cleaning everything. So now we'll start with the disassembly. First things first is always do the hairspring first. This is just what I've done. Just protects in case anything goes flying or damaging it at some point. And then we release the rest of it. We start taking everything off. The most important thing is definitely, definitely look after the hairspray. Whatever you do, do not play around with it. When you clean it, make sure it's clean properly, it's dried properly. Otherwise you will have major issues. So now what we're going to do is going to release tension on the spring. It looks like there is tension in the spring. Main spring, so we'll release this. This gear, which will then release all of the power in the watch. So nothing will be able to go crazy if you undo the watch in, in the incorrect manner. So that's done. And now we'll release the pallet fork. So now we're going to release the second hand. This is more on the vintage Amigas. They like to have this as a complete separate unit. Um, just going to be very gentle when taking this out. Be careful when you pull this out as there's a spring tension on there and you can have that little piece flying all over. It's normal if that piece does seem magnetic, it does happen after the cleaning of the watch. There is some form of magnetism that comes to it, but it's important that you demagnetize it. Now when removing the rest of the watch uh, mechanism, make sure that you have, um, as you can see, hold on. Make sure that you release everything very carefully so that nothing sticks and you can see where everything is placed. As you can see, everything seems fine there, but once again, there's a lot of dirt in this watch. You can see here now. But the movements seem fine, they need a good clean, and if you need to replace movements, uh, parts, inspect them individually very carefully. They might look fine, but they will give you issues if you do not inspect properly. And as you can see, there's a lot of staining, there's a lot of old oil. So now we can release the rest of the watch. Yes, and I have bled a lot because as a watchmaker, you have terrible fingers. 
sorry for the blood. Now you can see we've removed the bridge and as you can see the barrel comes out quite, quite easy but the rest doesn't come out. That is because on the opposite side where the date mechanism and the hour and the minute hands are, it's locked into place with the pinion. So we'll remove that afterwards. Right now just remember to take everything out that you can see. And as you can see there's a lot of dirt and it's not looking great. Now we'll move everything over, but firstly let's dismantle this, and yes that is my trusty little leather pad that I've used for the last 10 years. And over here you can see there's a lot of markings, that's from oil, um, and I think a bit of moisture has gotten into this. Now it's important that you remove everything when you do the swatch, remove when you have a swatch movement. Remove all small components so that you can clean everywhere properly and then rig oil correctly. And yes, it does take a while to get used to these small screws, small components, but eventually it becomes normal. And remember, this is important, this little washer here, people forget about it and then lose it. Important to take it off and re-oil properly once done. So now we've turned it over, I always like to have my crown on the right hand side and now we're going to remove the date mechanism as well as the whole upper section. And remember when you're doing watchmaking don't stress, you will, parts will go flying, you will see, you will have some spring mechanism go completely out of place and you have no clue what's just happened. But if you watch these videos that we do, you'll see it's not that hard. But you've got to be careful. And as you can see, I'm pointing there to exactly the spring that's going to shoot out. So when you do lift this, lift this very carefully. There we go. And now pull this out and you'll see there's a spring. There's, that spring will stay in place. You don't have to take it out. And now you can see the rest of the whole movement. The upper section. Now with these vintage Amigas, these are the date mechanisms loose. So you can move that out the way. And now it's a case of just removing each component. This is straightforward. And that's the pinion that we spoke about earlier that lock your wheel in place. So if we move that out, the other one just falls out. Perfect. And now it's just the dismantle of the rest. And remember when removing the setting lever please do that always very carefully as that could break and then you have to order a new part just releasing the date mechanism there now and now we'll move into the as you can see all the different oil stains over the years and i think that's water as well moisture has definitely gotten in there so now we'll just remove the rest and then prepare for cleaning
it's so now important when you look at the lever make sure you can see first of all the spring that you need to take out that the chances are that will always fly out and just be very cautious of this and always have a look at what angle and what side the setting lever is actually facing so there we've got the spring and now, as you can see the direction it's facing and that's important for reassembly Now we can have a look, everything's been removed, you can see how dirty this is, actually very dirty. Now we'll move it over, because what we're going to do is we're going to put the hairspring back on, because that will be included in the cleaning process, and very important to get this on correctly. It's the safest way to wash a hairspring. And now we're just going to show you how to get everything prepared for cleaning, throwing it all into the containers. Don't worry, they'll be safe because the containers spin and they keep them in one place throughout the whole motion. Um, so these are just getting all the components ready. And then towards the end, we'll have a look at the barrel and then move on to video or to part two of this series, reassembly.
So with the barrel, I'm just opening and clicking it to have a look at the mainspring. We weren't sure about this mainspring, but let's have a look. It could just be old. But I'm showing you how to release it. Be very careful, because if this goes out, it can actually hurt you. But as you can see, it seems, yeah, it definitely needs to be replaced. So what we'll do is we'll replace that afterwards. Just have a look there. Everything seems fine, but we need to replace that. So now you can see all the gunk inside will eventually clean off. Once we clean this part and remove everything, but I'm just showing you how to clip it back safely to make sure everything's fine. There we go.